Hi, I am Chris from Sonomi International and welcome back to our channel. List hierarchies are a fundamental part to Anaplan as they define the structure and content of a model. Therefore, it is very important to maintain these hierarchies in the most efficient way. In today's video, I am going to show you some examples of automatic update of lists and quick ways to automatically validate your data. Specifically, I will demonstrate how you can easily load data into Anaplan, update dimensions based on the load, and create some data quality check reports. So let's jump right into the demo. And here we are in our demo HR model, which we will be using for the presentation. Before we move on to the app in the Anaplan user experience or then user experience, let me quickly walk you through our model. The model consists of three hierarchies. First one being organization hierarchy, which is made up of business unit, geography, region, cost center department, cost center, and employees in our company. Second one, region hierarchy, made up of region and the location country. And lastly, function hierarchy, which is made up of function and subfunction. Additionally, we have three other flat lists that are not aggregated into any hierarchies. In this demo, we will focus on updating all the hierarchy lists based on the employee files that HR department loads every month. So now, let's move on to our app where we can see the whole update and the load process from the end user perspective. This is the home screen of our app. If you are new to Anaplan user experience, in the description under the video you can find a link to our tutorial, where my colleague Mitch walks you through the Anaplan UX step by step to get you more familiar with the platform. Now let's get back to our app. On the left hand side navigation buttons direct end users to actions related to loads, whereas right hand side buttons let users view reports based on the loaded files. Let's take a look at employee details page. This is where end user can view employees based on the organization hierarchy in the rows and their details like ID, name and more in columns. If we scroll to the right you can see that our organization, region and function hierarchies are also included in the columns. We will be updating these details as well as list hierarchies automatically based on the loads from HR department. In this demo, we will be loading three different files from HR. First file with updated details of current employees for March. Second one with a new country Mexico as well as new employees working in that country. And third one, a file with new employees that start working in our company from March. Now, let's move on to the data load section where end users can upload these files. This page consists of few different areas. First one being the data load, where users can upload files. Second, the staging area capturing new functions and cost centers not recognized by Anaplan, as well as displaying employees with missing details. And lastly, load after checks where HR can upload the data and have instant overview of loaded FTE or monthly salary in the grid below. As you can see, March 20 is still empty and by loading the first file, we will fill data for that month. Let's take a look at the file that we will be importing. As you can see, it contains all the employees in the rows and their details in columns, including base salary and FTE rate as of March. If we go back to our page and press on the load button, we will see that the process updates automatically some list hierarchies in the model. It means that for example, if there is a new country in the file, it will be automatically added to the region hierarchy. Let's select our first file and run the process. The green colors signal that the import was successful. Now we can move on to the staging area, which is empty. It means that neither new function nor new cost center has been created and all the employees have required information. After the checks, we can run the subload process where we choose month for which we are loading the data. Month can be also picked up from the file. However, for this particular demo, we decided to select it in this window. The data for March appears. However, we can see that it's blank for some employees. Precisely, there is a difference between two months. And for this purpose, we have created a comparison report. If we go to the report and select February as a base month and March as a comparison month, we can see the employees that have different FTE between these two months. That's the case for two employees in our company. The below table gives us overview of employees whose contract has finished, 
We can easily see that our two employees are in this table, which means that FTE and salary have not been loaded for them because their contracts have finished in March. Additionally, we have one more person whose contract has finished in February. Let's move on to our second file by going to the overview reports where you can see country level data based on the region hierarchy. We don't have Mexico here, but in March, our company has expanded its operations to Mexico and created an office there. Therefore, we would like to add employees from Mexico to our model and have the Mexico included in our reports. We can easily do it by simply loading the file with employees from Mexico and Anaplan will update our hierarchies automatically. Let's take a look at file number two. Here we have our employees that we need to be added to the model. As we showed in the report, Mexico and other Mexico related list items are not currently in Anaplan. So before adding the employees, we will need to update our list hierarchies. Anaplan will do it based on the information in the file. Let's select our file and run the process. We will see that certain dimensions have been updated. In particular, one country, three regions and six new cost center departments have been created. Our new cost centers, which are level below cost center department in the organization hierarchy, are displayed in this table before being added to the list hierarchy. End users can go through these cost centers and make sure that they are correct before adding them to the list in the next process. We can also see that salary band is missing for two employees. This is a flag for end user that this information is missing for these two particular employees in the file. The file can be later re-uploaded with the complete information and the data will be updated based on the most recent load. Let's load the data after the checks. We are selecting March and in the overview we can see that our organization hierarchy has been updated by 11 new cost centers and 25 new employees from Mexico. In the below table, which is based on the organization hierarchy, we can look for a Mexico related list item. We can see that Mexico has been added to the hierarchy and the numbers for employees from that country have been loaded for March. Let's navigate now to the employee details page. Same as in the previous table, employees based on the organization hierarchy are included in the rows. If we search for Mexico, we can see here that Mexico related list items, including our new employees, are also displayed in this table. Their details from the file have been loaded as well. Let's move back to the load page for one more second. Another useful function that we will find here is data quality section. This is where HR can view employees with missing details. First table shows employees with missing cost center, salary band or function. These filters can be of course adjusted to the user's preferences. We can see here our two employees from Mexico that do not have any salary band and were also shown in the staging area during the load process. In the next table, HR can quickly see employees with missing hire date. In our case, there is one employee from US that is missing this information. As mentioned before, HR can re-upload the employee details file with correctly filled data to get rid of these errors. Now let's move on to the third and the last file that we will be loading. This time we will be loading data for 23 new employees. As usual, we have employees in the rows and their details in columns. Let's move on to the data load page and select our file. Green process signals that the load was successful. If we move on to the staging area, we can see that there is a new function. We can either approve the function and add it to the function list or map it to an existing one. In this case, it looks like just a mistake in the name, so we will link it to the existing function marketing. The other grids in the staging area are empty, so let's load our data after the checks. We select March and in the overview we can see that 23 new employees have been added. If we were to look for the new employees in the employee details page, we would find them here because the employees and their details are updated based on the most recent load. Now let's go back to our homepage. Once we have all the data loaded, we can move on to our reports. Let's take a look at the overview reports first. In the overview reports, we have data overview at the country level, which is based on the region hierarchy. We can view here FTE or other information like monthly salary. We can also see data for all functions or choose a specific one and the graph below will adjust accordingly. 
Another table displays the same information but at the salary band level. Here we can see calendarized FTE or other data for each salary band. Because we load the data for each month, in the top right we can choose a month for which we want to view the data. This choice doesn't apply to calendarized views, but the graphs and the table with salary band level data in the left bottom corner will adjust accordingly. Let's go back to the homepage and take a look at the comparison reports in more detail. As mentioned before, in the comparison report, HR can see an overview of employees whose FTE have changed between two months. When we compare February and March, we have two employees from the US. We can see in the table below that these two employees have left the company in March and that's why they have negative Delta FTE. Additionally, we can see couple employees from Mexico. These are new employees that start working from March and have been loaded to the system with our second file. We can also view aggregated deltas for different levels of organization hierarchy like cost centers. In this case, we have 12 new FTEs for Components Mexico Plant Operations Cost Center. This section allows users to also choose different base and comparison month. If we were to compare January to February, we will see only one employee with FTE change. In the table below, we can see right away that there is no data for him in February as he left the company in that month. Let's go back to the homepage for the one last time to view the check reports. On this page, HR can see how many people or what percentage of all employees have their base salary higher than maximum salary set for their band. HR can also use this high-level overview to easily compare salaries between countries as the table below displays all the figures at the country level using the region hierarchy. If we change the maximum salary, the figures below will update right away. It is important to add that this report can be created at any other existing dimension like function or organization hierarchy. And there you have it, efficient way to maintain hierarchies in your model through the automated process in Anaplan. Don't forget to subscribe to be up to date with our new releases and follow us on LinkedIn for more useful content. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next time.